Israel's Prime Minister's last attempt at appearing competent. Uri Goldberg writes, there's plenty of damage to do, but the war is lost. Rafa is a lost attempt at appearing competent and full of conviction. Israel sheds Palestinian blood with no thought at all. I have seen the Israeli military and political machine falter before on the verge of being forced to end past wars. I believe this is what is happening now. Israel is putting on a show meant mostly for domestic consumption. Netanyahu and his cronies and accessories, particularly those with military experience, guns and Eisenkot, want to tell the Israeli public that overwhelmingly supports the war that Israel has operated in Rafa, operated. There is nowhere else to go in the Gaza Strip. Israel can thus claim it has exhausted all military options before it capitulates to the pressure applied by the US, Saudi Arabia and just about everyone else. I think, and this shames me deeply, that Israel sheds Palestinian blood with no thought at all. Palestinians have been completely dehumanized by Israelis. They simply don't care. And so I believe what we are seeing in Rafa is the last attempt at appearing competent and full of conviction, defying the world to enhance Israeli security. That is of course a sham. I base my assessment also on the minimal resistance Israel has encountered in Rafa. Hamas has no reason to fight. Having made a strategic decision, Hamas has opted for a deal. It controls the narrative, forcing Israel to react. Hamas has nothing to gain from fighting, so it doesn't fight. No fixation on the murder of Jews, just common sense. In his own mind, Israel cannot appear weak as acceptance of a deal has been spun as surrendering here by the Prime Minister and his government. Had Israel initiated a deal earlier, it would have been less painful now. So Israel will buck and shudder, but awareness is seeping in. All sorts of things suddenly make the Israeli headlines now. Most prominently issues of personal appointments and official reviews of the war. This is to be expected when the end is in sight. Remember also that Israel will be celebrating Independence Day next Tuesday. Netanyahu wants to appear valiant and focused. He's procrastinating, bobbing and weaving. He knows it shows. He knows his pens are on fire. There's plenty of damage to do and blood to shed, but the war is lost, writes Uri Goldberg. These are all excerpts from a text by Uri Goldberg.